Well, we have another new Mandolin here. The new F model. This is instrument number 98. It's the 36th F model. It's the 15th F model that I've put this E peg head on there. Number 15 for that. This mantle has got gold hardware on it. Tuners, bushings, tailpiece, strap button. It has an angle and spruce top, ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard. It's got my new inlay on it where I put Earl on there. Two inlays kind of looks like deer horns, but I kind of like that, so I'm going to keep doing it. I hope you can see that. I know the camera doesn't focus good. The light's not good. We're going to try to get it on there. Okay. And the most unusual thing about this mandolin is the wood. A friend of mine brought it to me and said, make me a mandolin out of this. And I said, I normally wouldn't make a mandolin out of that kind of wood, that kind of figure in it, because I'm afraid it won't be stable. But it was so pretty that I went ahead and we tried it, and we're going we're gonna to risk it. I call it the wild wood walnut mandolin. Here's the reason why. Look at that wild walnut figure in that. Yeah. Incredible figure, I think. It shows some signs not being real stable, but we're going to risk it and see. Time will tell whether or not it's going to stay together. But it sure made a pretty mantle, I think. Got walnut back and sides, neck. Engelman spruce top, like I said, got a lot of metal area rays in it under the bridge and uh, just a pretty mountain so we'll play a tune on it and see how it sounds okay we'll try a little bit of Cherokee shuffle to the first whipper wheel. FE number 36, instrument number 98. Wildwood Walnut. 